Welcome to this week's edition of the OCU Athletics Update. I'm Andrew Himes. And this week we're talking to Delaware Resource Group Superstar Athlete of the Week, Adam Black, and soccer coach, Brian Harvey. Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to Delaware Resource Group Superstar Athlete of the Week, Adam Black, a senior from Liverpool, England. He scored six goals last week, including four in a game against Oklahoma Baptist. Leads the Sooner Athletic Conference on the season with 13 goals and six goals last week, including a four-goal performance against OBU. That's a heck of a line for a team. Hmm. Talk about your performance last week. Yeah, it was just one of them games where I had a few chances to begin with that went on target, like troubled the keeper. So I just thought, if I keep going, I'll get a few. But didn't expect to get four. But it's one of them games where the luck was on my side, I guess. You were named the Sooner Athletic Conference Player of the Week. That's the fifth time in your career that uh, you've been named Player of the Week. Tell us what that honor means to you. It means a lot. It's, I mean, it's always nice to get recognition, especially for doing good things. So, I mean, just try and do my best for the team. And it, it's always nice to get, to get a little something back. Your team is 7-5-2 uh, and two right now, heading into the final three games of the regular season. What are your expectations for the team heading into postseason play? Well, my expect I always have high expectations for myself and the team. So, hopefully, the next three games we get, we're, op we're hoping to get three wins out of three to give ourselves a home berth in the playoffs. And obviously, with our field and our fans, if we if we get the right draw, we we feel like we could go all the way. Uh, over the summer, you were an All Southern Conference player uh, for Oklahoma City's FC team in the uh, USL um, in the in the developmental league. Uh, what did you gain from your experience there? I gained a lot, especially training every day, playing around a good group of lads, different coach, different style of play. I learned a lot from from my game, from the start of the summer, especially to the end. And I mean, as you as you get older and as you play in, at a higher level, it sort of becomes easier because everyone's on the same wavelength. So it's nice it's nice to play at, at that level and hopefully. This following summer, I can step up the level again and hopefully learn even more, which is what I'm hoping to do. So that'd be nice. What's your major here at OCU? Kinesiology. And uh, what are your career plans following graduation? Hopefully, I want to want to try and play if I can, whether it be over in America or wherever. But if I'm not fortunate enough to play once I'm graduated, then to be honest, I'd I'd like to stay within the sport in some way whether it be coaching or physiotherapy. So I think I'm in the right major to allow me to, to do something in the sport once I'm graduated, which is good. If you didn't play soccer, what other sport would you play? Yeah, um, don't know. I always fancy myself on the golf course, but don't know whether I'd have what it takes to go all the way. But as long as I'm playing against my dad, I think I'd be good. <laughs> All right, very good. Talking to Delaware Resource Group Superstar Athlete of the Week, Adam Black, the Stars. Three games remaining in the regular season, and you can keep up with their progress on OCUSports.com. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Learn more at NAIA.org. Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to soccer coach Brian Harvey. The Stars have three games left before the end of the regular season and the start of postseason play. And coach, your women's team is now 10-4 and four on the season and has now reached double-digit wins in all 20 seasons of existence. Uh, what has gone into that, that streak? Oh, I, I think good players. Players, players make coaches look good, but uh, we've, we've had some luck as well, but uh, basically people buying into what we're trying to tell them and I think it's been very very successful because the way it reflects on the number of national national appearances we've made your your team is now six and one in conference play 
Uh, what's it going to take for the team to secure their fourth uh, straight Sooner Athletic Conference title? Well, we need we need to we need to win our last three remaining games. We play this evening against um, Texas Wesleyan, and then Friday USAO, and then on Monday we have a makeup game against Sagu. So if we win all three, we will most definitely be champions again for the full successful year, which is a tremendous, tremendous achievement. Last week you had senior night in a game against Mid-America Christian, recognized seven seniors from the men's team, six from the women's team. Uh, what have their contributions been over the years? Oh, they've been great. I mean, you, I mean, you look at Megan McMahon, you look at Alisa Reed, you look at some of the, the girls that are put in, Maggie Lee, uh, Ariel Bayatafar, and then on the boys' side, Adam Black. And it's just been tremendous, uh, Jimmy. Jimmy Irwin, Trevor Harmon, just, I mean, what they've done over the past four years, they've really worked hard and achieved a lot of personal goals. So I'm very pleased for them as young men and as they go on and, and find their way in, in the world. Adam Black, one of the guys you mentioned, scored six goals last week, including a, a four-goal performance against Oklahoma Baptist. Uh, talk about his performance last week. Well, I mean, they were all good quality goals. I mean, he scored from a free kick, he scored from a penalty kick, and he scored two goals from open play. One was a wonderful combination with uh, Roy Vaz, a beautiful one-two, and Adam found the net. So they were all classic goals, and he's really hitting form at the right time. Men's team is 3-2-2 two two in conference play. Had a string of five unbeaten uh, until recently. What do you expect from them heading into postseason play? Well, you know, I mean, we've got three games left, and one of them is quite a formidable game. We play at UCO on the road. Uh, we have uh, our final regular home game this evening uh, against Texas Wesleyan. So it's more or less a must-win for us tonight and then see what happens at USAO and then see if we can pick up the, the road in the makeup game against Sagu. OCU is looking to add uh, locker room facilities to, to Stars Field. Talk about the planned renovations coming up. Well, there's a, there's a tremendous fundraising drive going on at the moment. A lot of former alumni, they, they have donated and made checks. And uh, Greg Laird, a, a young player that played here for me, he's, he's now a lawyer in the city. He's heading it up and he's doing a tremendous job along with uh, our athletic director. And, and we're just shaking the bushes and trying to get as many people involved as we possibly can to take this project to the next step. What do you look for in a potential student athlete? I think first, first thing I look for, are they a good person? Are they a good student? Are they a good person? And obviously a good soccer player. I think it's, it's important that if you're going to work with somebody over, the, over a period of time, over four years, that you want it to be a good experience for both the student and the coaching staff. So we look for people that we feel really are an OCU fit. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Talking to OCU soccer coach Brian Harvey. Stars with three regular season games remaining before heading into postseason play. You can follow their progress on OCUsports.com.